Well, a mandate came from heaven many years ago. Raise up a word in a spirit church in Aurora with an emphasis on teaching the word of God without compromise and where the Holy Spirit is free to move as he wills. And with this mandate came the vision of God. It wasn't a vision from a man, it was the vision of God to begin Abundant Life Church. And so this church officially started September 30th, 1990 in the community center located at the corner of Illinois Avenue and Lake Street or Route 31 in Aurora. When you go through the book of Acts, you see them coming together, assembling together, worshiping together. There are things that you can only get in a church, and I don't mean a church building. The strong Christians that live overcoming lives are people that it becomes part of their daily, their weekly routine. It's just, it's a part of your life. I want you to know that the vision for this church is the vision for you. It's not just for a building, because the church is not a building. The church is a living organism composed of living people. And so when God gives a vision for a church, he's giving a vision for people's lives. So it's very pertinent to you today. And it's very important that you catch the vision. We're renewing our vision for this church and for this region and for the world. Yes, says the Lord, I am going to build this church and it shall have phenomenal growth. It doesn't have to do with you. It's something that I'm going to do myself, but I am going to use you. And people are going to give me glory because they're going to understand that this is beyond the human operation, but this has moved into the realm of the supernatural. And I will get accolades and I will get praise and I'm going to prosper you because you allow me to use you in that way. God told me that this is one of the cities that in these last days is going to be a great move of God. There is a revival that, that, that is going to be sent to this town. If God told you something years ago and it was really God, don't let go of it. That I swore I would never go back I was blind to the truth Didn't know what I had I was running I was searching But every place I turned for healing Left me more broken than the last Take me back To the place that feels like home To the people I can depend on To the faith that's in my bones Take me back to a preacher and a verse Where they've seen me at my worst To the love I had at first Oh, I want to go to church Trying to walk on my own but I'm wound up lost Now I'm making my way to the foot of the cross It's not a trophy for the wind it's a shelter for the sinners And it's right where I belong Take me back To the place that feels like home To the people I can depend on To the faith that's in my bones Take me back To a preacher and a verse Where they've seen me at my worst To the love I had at first Oh, I wanna go to church That's in my bones Take me back To a preacher and a verse Where they've seen me at my worst To the love I had at first Oh, I wanna go to church Yeah, I wanna go to church
This church is not going under. This church is going over. This ministry is not going down. This ministry is moving up to the next level, a higher level. You are not the tail, you're the head. You know, God will give you a vision, but it's for an appointed time. Amen. And so our job is to not let go of the vision, but to hold on to it, embrace it tightly. Kept ready. The thought that God has kept ready some things. I mean, is it possible that God could have kept some things ready for right now, for the two of you, a new anointing for a new harvest? But I do believe God finishes what he starts. And I think this place is just beginning. The giving of this church has gone up as a memorial before the Lord, and it's something that God has not forgotten. It's something that God never intends to forget. And the word of the Lord to this church years ago in regards to the building, in regards to expansion, in regards to growth is all going to come to pass because in due season, this church is going to reap the harvest and reap the reception of exactly what it has sowed. Things are going to be turned around for this ministry and other ministries because <laughs> harvest time is here.